Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's the Cool Ninja Guy here. Today, I'll be showing you guys how to do the screen wiggle that you saw in the cinematic. Um, I will be doing a tutorial on the screen pumps later. But um, what we have right here is just a cinematic. I have a Twixter, like 25%. You know, the dude's just waving. Nothing special, really. What's the, the rotation's whack on this thing. Fix that. Here we go. So, um, I have, yeah, just that cinematic, just the guy, and he's just waving. But what I want to do is add a wiggle to it. Um, I'll show you two different methods. Uh, the second one is a little simpler. But, uh, let's hop into this. So, I just have my color correction and my fades, because that's what I, how I do it, and I have my song. Uh, but you, all you're really focusing on is this clip. So, right click, new, null object, right click, new camera. Uh, this is what you'll be syncing your um, um, uh, wiggle to. So your wiggle will be on your camera, so hit P and then Shift R. So you pull up your position and rotation. We're going to be putting a wiggle expression uh, on the position and the rotation. If you don't know what an expression is, you can type them into After Effects and they do uh, certain different things for you. Um, so what you can do is hold down Alt and click your stopwatch on position. I'm going to type in wiggle parenthesis, then your values, which I'm going to go 2, 6. Um, it, the value has different, um, each value, you can play around these settings, they have different meanings depending on which numbers. Um, and so like, I'm going to also put a wiggle on the Z rotation. Um, that's like 2D rotation, uh, since it's a 2D camera. So then hold Alt, click the stopwatch, type in wiggle. And for the rotation, I have less, so I'm going to type 1, 2. And there we go. So I have my uh, expressions. But if I pan through, nothing's wiggling yet. Because I need to set my um, clip parent or to the null, and then the null to the camera. Now, if we play this through, you'll see that it's wiggling. There we go. It's wiggling along with the null, uh, which is what we want. So you can set out multiple things to the null and make it wiggle. Uh, but what I prefer to do is a different method. So I'm going to delete this camera and this null. And make a new adjustment layer, control alt y or uh, command alt y on a Mac. Go to my solids, I'm just going to delete adjustment layer to a uh, wand, rename this to wiggle. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on my color correction layer and delete that. And I'm going to my color correction layer, and you'll see I already have my color correction here. But I'm going to type in transform onto my built around transform. Type that into my effects and presets and find the one under distort. Drag it on your color correction layer. And I am going to play with the position and rotation again. So just hold Alt, click the stopwatch, and type in your same expression. So wiggle to 6, and OK, click off, and then go to my rotation, and wiggle 1, 2. So now what that does is it makes an adjustment layer so that anything under this adjustment layer wiggles. So there you go, there's the wiggle. And it's pretty easy because instead of having to parent it to one clip, you can put it, I can have multiple clips under here, whatever is under here wiggles. So I can put this over a whole montage or a whole promo or a whole three hour movie for all I know. And the whole thing will wiggle. Um, that's why I like this method better. It's easier to save to get that transform. You can just go animation, save animation preset, name it wiggle, and then just play with those settings to your liking. Uh, so that's it for this tutorial, guys. If you enjoyed, please hit the like button below, subscribe button up top. Helps me out a ton, whatever channel you're on. And uh, come check out my other tutorials. I will have the screen pumps one uh, later. So thank you guys for watching. My name's Cool Ninja Guy, and I'm out. Adios.